Hi, this is Jim Craig, and welcome to the Budget Conscious Astronomer. Um, I'm going to show you in this video, really quickly, and in real time, how I use the software package GIMP, the new image manipulation program, and there's a link to it down in the description, to take your astrophotos from looking like this to looking like this. In the original image, you can see you've got a lot of light color in the background you've got some a speck of dirt there on the image so you want to be able to clean that up so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that duplicate that one image now here in GIMP what we're going to do is very simple we're going to start by leaving this image alone we're going to duplicate it if you look down here in the bottom right you're going to see a duplicate layer. And we're going to work on the duplicate layer. Now let's duplicate it one more time. And then we're going to come up here with what's called the lasso tool. We use that lasso tool and we're going to sort of outline the center part of our globular cluster. You can do the same thing with the nebula. Then we're going to come over here and use the color picker tool. And I generally like to have it pick a radius of about three pixels. And I want it to set the foreground color. So I'm going to find an area in here where there aren't any stars. So I'm going to zoom in. There are no stars in this area. I'm going to click, and that gives me a foreground color. Then I come up to my fill tool, make sure it's foreground color fill, and fill the whole selection. And we're going to get rid of our stars don't worry they will be back and we're going to leave the background stars as they were now go up to select and tell it select none you can also hit shift control a as a shortcut then come up under filters and look under blur and we're going to pick gaussian blur you notice the stars already almost immediately start to take a blur we're going to really crank up this uh, size x and size y we've got them linked together but until the stars disappear and all we're left with is the background color. You can see they're starting to go and right about there you can kind of see where some of the stars were but you can't really see them that well anymore. And now the part that's really easy, come over, come over here in your layers tab, and look under mode and where it says normal, scroll down and hit subtract. And already you can see Let's hide that. We're going to hide that layer, bring it back. So hide that layer. And you can see the difference that it's already made in your image. Now what you can do if you want to really brighten up some of the stars is right click on that second copy, hit merge down. And now on that copied layer, duplicate it again. Only now, instead of going normal, scroll up here and do addition now it has put those two images together and you can see it really brightens up and you can keep adding that but you will be bringing back some of the noise that you got rid of earlier you can also end up washing out the center core the brighter areas of the image so we're just going to leave that as it is so we're going to right click on merge down and let's do a comparison from our original image that's our original image, and that's our cleaned up and brightened image using GIMP in just a couple of minutes. So give that a try on some of your images. See if that helps, and if you like what you see here, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Uh, consider subscribing. And if you really like what you see, consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com planet of mystery. That's planet underscore of underscore mystery. And for as little as a dollar a month, I will continue to bring videos like this to you. Uh, you get access to um, promotions, access to materials that I make available only to my patrons. Um, there are different layers of patronage that can get you different perks. So consider going over there and helping me out and helping yourself out because you also get exclusive access to me. You know, if you ask a question on Patreon, I will answer it. So until next time, this is Jim Craig with a Budget Conscious Astronomer, hoping you'll get out, 
take a look, take some pictures, and save yourself some money.